G'day, my name's Kieran and I'm from Natura Pacific. This morning I'm going to head down to the Gold Coast and recover some native bees that are on a development site that's undergoing clearing. So I just wanted to run you through some of the equipment that I'm bringing down today. So to start off with, um, I've got some earmuffs, earplugs and a face mask. Um, when we recover native bees, they, they don't sting, but their main defense is actually getting into your eyes and into your mouth and up your nose. So um, it's, if you're going to do any type of work with native bees, it's really good to invest in some gear that will protect your, your face. Um, the other alternative is to, is to grab a, uh, a beekeeper's net that goes over your head. Um, I haven't got one of those, but um, I'll see how I go with this. So we've got our hives, which we've made already, and uh, we'll put the bees in there if uh, they need to be translocated out of the, the log. We've also got our capping equipment, so if we are able to keep the bees in the log that they, they originally came from, um, I've brought some pieces of timber to be able to, to cap both ends, some nails and screws to be able to screw or nail them down, a couple of drills, um, drill bits, saw and hammer. And so I'm going to be meeting our tree lopper and spotter catcher down on the coast uh, and they've got some chainsaws and other equipment that we would need to cut the log up if we, uh, if we have to do so that. So if you want to find out more about Australian native stingless bees and uh, relocating them or saving them from construction sites or even any other spotter catching work with native animals, uh, give us a call at Natura Pacific and we'll help you out.